Hello, today I will talk about unmanned aerial vehicle motion control and planning, especially quadrotor motion control using deep reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is an area of machine learning concerned with how agent ought to take actions in an element in order to maximize the adaptation of communicative reward. Reinforced learning shows potential to solve very complicated problems such as playing Go at Atari games and solving Rubik's Cube by Robert Hunt. In recent years, we have seen that many companies trying to bring the UAV to the real-world uh, applications, such as drone delivery and the cave exploration. In these applications, the robot need to deal with uncertainties and be adaptive to the dynamical environment. Representing the robot system in a probabilistic way is a natural way to deal with the uncertainties and the changing environment. Reinforcement learning also offers a flexible framework to solve robotics problems without a model. We have seen many recent researches to apply progress in artificial intelligence, especially deep learners, to UV control. For example, the literature number four used reinforcement and learning algorithms to control the quarter. And the later the vision has been brought to the UV system and the reinforcement learning can empower the vision to control the quadrotor use only on board sensors, which is really amazing. Here, the diagram shows the deep reinforcement learning method we use for quadrotor control. The agent represents the algorithms to control the quadrotor, and the environment is the quadrotor system and the, the reward defined. During the training process, the environment will send the state and the reward of the environment to the agent. The agent will update the parameters of critic neural net and the actor neural net accordingly. During the test, the parameters of both neural nets won't be updated. Then the actor neural net runs as a feedback controller for the quarter system. Here is the structure of two neural nets we have used is to feed forward your net. Here we show the result of our reinforcement learning, deep reinforcement learning algorithms in the simulation world. And when we set the um, quadrotor position to the point 110, we can see that the controller will bring to the quadrotor to the original set point stably. So here is our conclusion and the uh, future work. Reinforced learning does not depend on the vehicle dynamics to work. Neural Nets shows ability to control the quarter by end-to-end -end training. The proof of stability is absent in deep reinforced learning method. And the future work includes migrate the controller from the simulation to the real world, improve the simulator to narrow the gap between simulation and the real world, and improve the reinforcement learning method to achieve better performance, and also utilize the correlator model to improve the sample efficiency of the reinforcement learning algorithms. Thank you for your listening.